Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and in this video, I'm gonna get some groceries and show you what I get. It is a Monday evening and just based on the parking lot, I think half of the city and myself are stocking up on our groceries for the week. And so that's what we're gonna do. I am at a Fry's grocery store, which is a Kroger chain. Um, other Kroger's are like Dillon's, King Supers, Payless. I used to live in Chicago and it was called Payless up there. Um, Ralph's. King, I said King Supers already. Anyway, there's a bunch of Kroger's, so they have the private selection brand, but pretty much everything that I'm finding is stuff that you could get at a typical grocery store. Um, we have a grocery budget that we like to follow. Prices really vary based on where you live and the types of stuff that you find. So I'm going to show you like how we make things work. There's definitely the cheapest way you could eat a carnivore diet is to live on ground beef and eggs. Um, so I'm going to show you how I give myself a lot of variety, but still be conscious of the budget. Hopefully this video just gives you ideas of some meals that you could eat, ways that you could cut out the carbs and add more protein to live a healthier life. One thing I can't find in the grocery store though is proper salt-based electrolytes. Most of the electrolytes that you can find in the grocery store are really chocked full of sugar and carbs and all the junk that I don't want. So I'm really grateful that Element Electrolytes is what sponsors this video because their electrolytes are sodium, magnesium, and potassium, and then all of their flavors are sweetened with stevia. If you're looking for something without any sweeteners at all, they do have an unflavored version which has literally sodium, magnesium, and potassium. Their grapefruit flavor is back. It's usually seasonal only, and now it is a permanent flavor, and everybody in my family is super excited about it. We are all a big fan just because it helps us stay hydrated. It really helps me prevent any leg cramps, fatigue, or headaches that sometimes you can get from eating a low-carb diet, and it's something that really benefits my husband and I when we are fasting also. If you want to try Element, you can get a free sample pack with any purchase. If you go to drinkelement.com slash laurasfat, and I'll put the link down below, you can get a free sample pack with any purchase. So check out that grapefruit and then try all the rest of their flavors. Thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. A lot of the different cuts that I would get varies week over week just based on what's on sale, but I'll try to explain some choices that I'm making. If the Kroger owned store that you go to has one of these like extra large fancy cheese sections, there's so many awesome things here, but my favorite is this Car Valley brand of bread cheese. This is one of the two brands that I get, but it's the only one that I can find in store and it's at these Kroger stores and it's literally just cheese and I cut it in slices and fry it in a skillet with butter and it's like the most unbelievable treat that you can imagine uh, and they have a chipotle version too which chris really loves okay one more i love the borsain this is like a soft cheese i will dip pork rinds in it i'll actually put it on top of some chicken i had a friend recently that made a meatloaf that was wrapped in bacon and she stuffed this inside of it and it made the meatloaf so juicy and delicious and it was like perfectly low carb. I'm going to grab some beef summer sausage and some of these little baby turkey bites. The kids use these a lot for sometimes they'll do like a snack supper and they'll do cheese and meat and some other little things to go along with it, but they have no fillers, no gluten. Uh, the turkey bites, we use the beef bites. Actually, Penelope says they're like, they're full of pepper, so they're not spicy, but she says they're spicy. So the turkey ones just have a little more mild flavor. If you have particular kids, try the turkey bites. I love the Boar's Head brand in general, and Kroger usually carries like a huge section of it, but I am, I love the tzatziki. It's like the cleanest version that I have found in stores, and then I dip it with like Greek chicken or pork, um, and it's kind of fun like to add some variety or flavor to your meat for like a fairly clean sauce. The problem with coming in the evenings is that the meat section is like pretty picked over by this point, so any good sales or good like things are gone. This is my tip, but if you can help it based on your schedule, come in the mornings. That's where you get the manager specials and everything's like freshly stocked. Chicken is one of those things that I think is pretty underrated on a carnivore diet. And we actually eat like quite a bit of chicken. I usually am going for like chicken thighs, chicken legs, something with bone in, skin on, just as it's gonna have more flavor and be a little fattier. Today, actually, I saw these chicken breast tenders, which I have been really anxious at trying making my own like homemade chicken strips for the kids with some pork rind crumbs and Parmesan cheese. So since they're buy one, get one free, that's a pretty good deal for chicken breast. I'm gonna try those and see how the kids like them. You know we eat a lot of pork loin and anything that's pre-cut in the grocery store tends to be really thin. 
it makes it pretty impossible to get a good char on the outside and they just end up really dry. So I talk about this all the time, but buy yourself the half pork loin. It is cheaper, it is fattier, and then you can cut some big old fatty pork chops and they will end up very juicy. I actually already have a lot of pork loin in my freezer and the pork spear ribs were on sale and we haven't done that in a little while. So I grabbed a slab of these and then we'll throw them in the smoker. This week, the main sale was these petite sirloins. These are gonna be pretty tough. So before you go stocking up on a ton, because it is a great price, I would make sure that you enjoy that. Um, same thing with top round roast. That's really only gonna be good if it's slow cooked and shredded. Personally, I would rather wait until chuck eye or a ribeye or something is on sale. And this ground beef was an awesome deal. So I grabbed five of those. Just as a way to add a little variety and some extra fat to some of the chicken I'll eat this week, I got a pack of these flanken ribs. We do hot dogs actually at least once a week, just as like a quick air fryer weeknight meal after jujitsu. And I really love these like beef brisket, private selection brand hot dogs, which you can get at most Kroger's. Um, the main thing, I know hot dogs are not perfect and they may not be for everybody, but I'm just looking for ones that have a low carb count and that don't contain soy protein. So even the Hebrew national hot dogs, which you think are like kosher and they're so good, they contain soy protein filler. So I'm just, I love these and they don't contain soy. So that's good enough for me. Same thing with sausage and bacon. I'm just looking for low carb count and like clean enough. The kids eat sausage or bacon or eggs every morning for breakfast with a little fruit. So I'm gonna grab some sausage and a pack of bacon and I'll split this. I'll put, I'm gonna do that bacon wrapped meatloaf that I mentioned. So I'll wrap some of the bacon around the meatloaf and then the kids will have the rest for breakfast. Cheese is one of those things that I could very easily overeat and we could have an infinite amount that then could be at home and that could cause a problem for me. So I try to buy cheese just based on the meals that we're gonna have. I'm gonna get this Deli Select cheese, which is actually really clean. Like for pink craft singles, it's, check the ingredients. It's really clean and it's great and it melts really well for smash burgers. So I'm gonna buy this with all the ground beef that I got for smash burgers and then some cheddar cheese sticks for Penelope. Okay, maybe I'm gonna get killed for saying this, but I think eggs are one of those things that people spend a little too much time worrying about the labels on and they spend too much money buying fancier eggs. <laughs> Ideally, you would buy eggs from a local farmer and you know exactly where they're coming from and what the chickens are being fed and all that good stuff. But I think there's a lot of funny games that are played with the labels on the eggs and I just don't trust them enough to spend more money. So I just buy the regular eggs. I mean, even the ones with like the super yellow yolks that you can buy in the store. There's conspiracies about how farmers feed those chickens marigold and it automatically makes the eggs yoker and there's just such minimal nutritional difference. So when I can get it, I get eggs from a friend who has chickens. I someday hope to have my own chickens or I grab some from relatives when we're back east. But in the meantime, I'm not gonna spend extra money on buying fancier eggs. Like, that's just me. Chris drinks one thermos of this cold brew coffee in the mornings and he puts the one packet of the chocolate element in to give himself like a chocolate mocha. You know what is super frustrating to me is I cannot find one pre-made frozen meatball brand that does not contain soy or a bunch of junk in it. Somebody needs to invent this. I will be your number one customer for the convenience. But in the meantime, I pretty much just make my own meatballs to avoid all that. You know what's crazy is that until I film something like this and I'm like mentally plotting out what I need to get from where in order to, to make this video, you don't realize how much I actually don't shop from within. The, I just grabbed these pork rinds, but like I didn't barely grab anything else from inside of these internal aisles. Like that's the number one tip I have for anybody. If you don't even know where to start is stop shopping in these aisles. Only shop the perimeter of the grocery store. Okay as I'm standing in front of this stupid sign that has chips and pretzels listed as a real food. I'm gonna show you a couple other like extras that I got that just the kids are gonna eat. I grabbed some strawberries that they'll have for breakfast. 
I got two cans of green beans that we just open the can and they eat them cold for lunch if they feel like it. I grabbed a couple of zucchini. Penelope's really been loving grilled zucchini, so we'll grill those up with some lunches. And then as a side sometimes for lunch, I got some grain-free almond flour cheddar crackers. My total grocery haul has a bunch of stuff for the kids, chicken, pork, eggs, a little bit of beef, tons of ground beef, bacon, sausages, lots of cheese. The only really disappointing thing for this week's grocery haul is that there wasn't any like really good cuts of beef on sale. So I wish I could have got a couple steaks, but this is why when things are on sale, I buy over and stock up. And then now we have a couple things in the freezer. So the things that are expensive in this shopping cart are all the extras. It's wild if you stick to just meat and don't get all the cheeses and some of the other snacky things that I got, uh, it would be a whole lot cheaper and you could double all the meats that you got and probably like, I'm actually a little nervous about the final cost of this. We'll see. Okay, actually that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So for under $150, in reality, we would need a little bit more meat to contribute to this that I will pull from the freezer. So I truly think for under $200, even if you swapped out a bunch of the extra stuff that I got for more meat, you could feed your entire family of four for $150 for the week. I don't know, in today's economy, I kind of think that's pretty good. Groceries are put away and now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for everybody for dinner. But I hope this video was helpful and just giving you some ideas on how you can incorporate more protein, less junk food into your life. You can do a carnivore diet on any budget. If you wanna see more content like this and just how I live my daily life as a carnivore, you can come find me on Instagram. And if you have questions or just wanna go deeper and see more content from me behind the scenes, you can come find me on Locals. We have a really great community there that are all supportive of each other.